In the last video, we learned that there are 8 common steps which we need to perform in any ADBC programming. In this section, we will write our new program in an ECC system. We will write ADBC and the database is not HANA, it is an Oracle database and it is in 7.3. So just to set my point that ADBC is not only for HANA, it can be a non-HANA system as well. Uh, therefore, I am showing you the system configuration now. Okay, here you go. So you see that the database system is Oracle and it is 7.3. In this uh, demo program, we will just connect, connect to a DB and pull some data. So this will be a simple exercise using ADDBC. So let's start. So let me build a selection screen. So I'm not following the naming convention, but you should always follow the naming convention in your project. So let's see, I'll give a parameter. Say I'll say um, P underscore. Uh, it should be DB. Okay, because I'm connecting a database. Database type say dbcon underscore name. So this will always remember the remain the same. In the process, I will need some data which I will use. So let me. I'll need some dates. So let me start some LV back day. That means the start date. You can do side datum as well. So I'll give uh, and end date. So you can use side datum. So I'll need this. Uh, so I'll, I'll assign some initial values. That day is going to say the term while LV and day I'll say LVC back day minus say six months six three day eight in one eighty. I'll just say one eighty days. Okay. I'm just activating if something is missing here. Okay, it is correct up to now. Uh, ideally you should be using a function module like rp underscore cal underscore date underscore in underscore interval there are some uh, standard function module we can which we can do the minus and plus of all the months and days and years so but for simplicity i'm just directly using or hard coding some values here so uh, as i always said there are eight steps the first step would be to set the connection connection to the db so how how do we do that we'll use a variable so lr underscore um, irw is name of my db connection equals to say we need a class um, so which will which will do the uh, connection so I, I know the class uh, and then it will be get connection so if you do control and space it gives you the uh, help and then I will give the database name step. so now I need to define this so this is old way of programming right so we need to define before we use them later in the course you will see that how we can do inline declaration but for now since this is not about 7.4 I have to do the declaration of whatever I am trying to use them so type ref2 so you have to know that there is a class what is the class SQL connection so I'll just see control space it will give me a connection so I keep on saving so first step is done what is the next step next step is to instantiate the SQL so instantiate the SQL statement so we we do not have the SQL statement yet, but we'll do it shortly. So I'll write that SQL statement equals to I'll say what is my LR space. So it will give me this connection. Then I'll get create. It will give me statement, and I'll just since this is a method, I'll just close it. It will give me an error if I don't define this one because we are not in inline declaration. So let me put it here. I'll put a comma. So I'll just paste it. Type ref to um, it will be CL SQL statement. 
this you have that i'll just save it this guy is showing a red so let me give a space and then the third step is to prepare the sql statement so we'll say prepare sql okay we can write native sql because the database understand native sql so we will concatenate the syntax which you want to run in the database and pass it from here so we'll put it in a string variable and pass it to the query i'll write a bunch of query which i know works with my database so for your case you will need to find out and make use of the sql editor in your hana system that will help you so for this one this is tried and tested so i'll use this one um, concatenated this to cache and and database statements are case sensitive just to let you know so be careful of that if something doesn't work then try to change the case i'll say i'll need to give a format y y y y gt and close the bracket contract start date don't worry about this uh, i'll tell you what are they so they are very specific to my database so i'll let you know to add contract and date and also i need to give the y y y y n m d d so let me complete this syntax or let me complete this sql statement so i have finished writing my sql so what i'm doing is i'm concatenating a the sql statement here it is select this from this the table name where you have some where clause and putting into this string okay and they are separated by space now i need to define this table and this uh, statement so i need to define the data for that so i will define the g gv underscore irw so irw is my database name so therefore i am giving reference to that type it will be say i can give anything there 50 or 60 whatever value so i know the table name so it will be different for you okay so you can use your own table or i will also show one example where we will be using the oracle database so which is uh, i'll show you in the one of the tutorials after this um, program so do not worry if you do not know or you do not have these tables in your system and the last one which i wanted to define was uh, it was the LX statement. statement type string. Okay. Till now, the program is happy. I'll do this to get a printer. I'll just make it a little aligned just for clarity. Okay. Till now, there is no syntax error. Let me activate it. Okay. So I think we are good till now. So in the select query, we have some variables for which we need to put some set some data. So this you may not need need in your project, but since we are using these dates, I'm, I need to use it for my select query variable. So what I'll do get reference of LVC data into lv say i want to use a dref and i'll do um, lr so actually i wanted to lr sql statement lr sql statement and set the parameters set underscore i'm just hit space i want to use the first one and then i want to use the parameter lv dref till now i have not defined dref so let me define dref so I'll put it at the bottom. This it should be type. Um, so it's giving me red. So now it should go. It should type ref to data. Okay. So I just saved it. I'll go down again. Now I need to do also the, for the other one. Get reference of LVC and into. I'll use the same reference and I'll use the same query to set it okay so we can reuse the uh, set parameter so till now it looks good perfect so i keep on activating
activating and checking because I do not want to debug and see what went wrong in the end. So it's my way of programming. I always try to keep on checking after I write some piece of code which I do not understand. Now we need to execute the query. So fourth step I'll say is the execute the query and then I'll put that in a result equals to lr sql is there sql and then i will say what i say i should say execute execute query right and then i'll what i'll give in the query i need to give the statement so which we made in the above syntax so i i developed this query statement here so i need to put it here and then i need to define lr result so i'll copy this lr result i'll go up so I could have copy pasted from somewhere but I wanted to show each step before I'm typing it so it might be boring if you know it but I just wanted to show every step press here SQL result set where is the result SQL result set yeah this is the one I want I'll just save it again I'll go down now I need to set the output table you can see the set the output table so what 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 does this mean i'll use another get so set means get ref of so i have a table defined i will define so here, into, into LV, TREF, so, and then the live result We'll do the set we already did in the above steps is now it is setting a parameter means a table so param table so i'll use this one and then i'll give the same lv because dref is type data so it will take it will modify itself into any any reference we want so i will use this and uh, define this so this is in my uh, system so in your system it might not be there so don't worry i will use mara marcy also and in another program I'll show you so i am showing you a complicated one right now so that when you see the mara marcy it will be more clear to you so it will be type uh, i'll say this is my my system so i'll just say yes tty okay uh, cpm cpl okay this is the table i am looking for i got it this video is getting long so it's already more than 12 minutes so i'll stop here and then we'll start again in the next video from here so let's move to the next video